All right, time for the first draft. Spine of Isha. That's what we get, huh? Well, Spine of Isha. If you have ways to abuse it, it can be really good. But is it first pickable? I don't know. We'll highlight it just in case. Next on the list, we have a Juggernaut, which on his own is great. Strandwalker is pretty good. And we have Divine Offering as well, and the Marauder. Hmm. I think the Juggernaut might just be better. Seven mana is quite a lot, and it only combos well if you have the right deck for it. While Juggernaut can just be thrown in any deck and just all of a sudden win the game. It's essentially a ten-five. Ooh, here we have a uh, spread the sickness. So uh, we're gonna. Take a. Uh, we're gonna be down with the sickness. <laughs> uh, after that, I guess I'd take Blight Widow. But yeah, we're not gonna pass up on pretty much Spine of Ishal, or whatever it's called. Okay, looks like we're trying to be in fact here. Uh, this corruptor is pretty retarded. So, uh, if we can be in fact, that would be awesome. We want to try to stay out of it, I guess. Uh, yeah, there's no black cards except this. I mean, that's just a really sweet card, so we're going to take it. Uh, this is a card as well, draws you a card. Um, so yeah, I guess we could take this as well, Marauder. Um, you can win games on its own too, you know, just bring you right back into the game. I kind of like that. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty high on the curve right now, but that's okay. I like this guy a lot. He's just, you know, your six mana drop that you play and then just win the game. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh, that's not at all what I thought it was. Uh, but then there's this brilliant wound here. Give somebody shock and then uh, kill a mirror or whatever. So we'll definitely be taking that. Lots of neat tricks you can do with that too. Nice little gargoyle there. So keep in mind, I have not uh, done much of Scars of Mirrored in drafts. So, uh, it's kind of going as I see it. Um, hmm, I guess Morbid Plunder seems pretty good. I mean, it does require a lot of creatures to be good, but oh well. I've seen games where that card just all of a sudden pulls people back into the game. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This pack. I guess I don't want to play against this. Nah, that's fine. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just take a rare. <laughs> Once again, probably taking a rare here. Yep. <clears throat> hey, look at that. We are able to get our black card out of it after all. Looks like, uh, in fact, kind of dried up at the end there. No Blight Widows or anything like that. Oops. Man, to take something else, but that's alright. Yeah, completely dried up. I wonder if 
blue is actually something. I mean, pretty late blue cards here, so that's something to keep in mind. Hmm. Sure, we'll take it. All right, we get the Brigade, Corpse Crew, and Heavy Arbalist. How things are going now, we don't know which one we'd, we want. It's looking like we could be, in fact, but then at the same time, maybe we're not. Um, I guess the Arbalist is more of a safer pick. I mean, it goes well in fact, and it goes well not in fact too. So, just we'll snag that up. Necropede goes in either, so uh, definitely going to be taking that. Pretty good card, as you are pretty much all aware of. So some of you may be wondering about the uh, hive mind experiment. Well, looks like the experiment failed. So uh, back to drafts and yeah, maybe if I uh, do well these drafts, I can <laughs> shape a new deck. But uh, that was the deck that we were making. The shape a new deck. Incidentally, I just started talking about it and that showed up. Um, as to this pick, it's really tough. We could take the Black Leaf Goblin or we can kind of move into a more uh, non infect deck. I mean, the Necropeating stuff is all good on its own. So, uh, I guess uh, that's what we need to do. Yes, this wave, huh? <laughs> That's a pretty late hippogriff. Yeah, oh jeez. This wave's pretty good, but I think I'm gonna take the star arms here. This wave's way out of games though. It's more of a late card. We're not very heavy green. I like the Strider Harness because if we do end up playing the fact it's just ridiculous. Yeah, here we go. Here's a spell bomb for us. We took, could take the clone shell, but we really don't have a whole lot. So, uh, just take the spell bomb. Yeah, it looks like in fact it's not happening. So green it is. It's fine though because we still have some pretty good cards. Uh, that work well in non infect decks. So, like here, we've taken still infection and be happy with it. I mean, there's the option of the mirror, but we don't really have a whole lot of force to go to. Maybe the fives and six. So, that's an option. I just like the removal. Yeah, it draws me a card. Take the wing puncture. Hmm. Uh, what a dude. So this deck is kind of weird so far. But at the same time, kind of good. A 
We'll see how it does. And a whole lot here. I guess I will take a more flanny. Take uh we call them vampires. I'd like. Yeah, take an island. Blue is so open right now. I mean, 15th big island. So good. Ratchet bomb, skin render. Uh, plague stinger. Yeah, skin rendering that is pretty much all day, every day. <laughs> I mean, ravage bomb is okay and all. But uh, skin render is the nuts. I mean, there is an iron claw mirror and a plague stinger below, but I'm pretty sure not, in fact. So, bam! Humph. This guy just reminds me of, uh, you know, Spider Man. Oh, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Alright, here we are in this pack. Insinuate's good. So is Arctur. I think I'm just going to take the Arctur trail here. We do have a Horizon Spellbomb to splash it. And this card is just that good. Uh, our other option is really Insinuate uh, Ball of Tango Board. So, yeah, Arctur is just that good. Okay, here we do have uh, Instel, a uh, Trigon of Infection. I'm sorry. And another Molder Beast, along with a Copper Mirror. Um, I like this card. It kind of will slow us down a little. It's great against Infect. Uh, it's great against, you know, slower decks as well. So. It's just an all around good card. And the other option would be to take the Molder Beast, but I don't know. There is a contention for the uh, Copper Mirror, too. One color mirror. That'd be good, right? But I do like the Trigons. Turn to Slag. Aww. Looks red, like red is just getting past ridiculously. But, oh well. There is a plating mirror here for all of our high drops. And most people will try to kill it if they see it. So I'm going to go ahead and snag that up. Uh, another trigon. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Sucks that we missed out on the other one. I guess we'll take it though. The other card that is. And I don't have any mirrors. Our celebration just isn't happening. Snap snow glider is probably not good enough for a deck. Uh yeah. This we snag up. The yeah, snipes over that one. Another palladium mirror. See your back. Oh, it's been flying. This will just take the mirror. Man, we are ramping up to nothing. <laughs> Blue is so open. Sultan, ooh, Sultan, <laughs> Heavy Arbalist, Combo, yeah, that's what I wanted, Alpha Tyranix, that was a gift right there. Twenty-seven. all right, so we got to cut some cards. My blue. 
I'll probably cut one of these. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what those. Tough call. Um, I guess Soliton and this for twenty six point five. I don't know. All right, so get the cards in here. We'll see about you and you. You guys are maybes. No, no, yes. No. Me, yeah, yeah. Do mm -hmm. no. you win? Yep. Yep. And we'll see about you. Yeah, there's 20 for sure. Not a whole lot of green. We have two double green cards. It's the Verizon spell on. Of course, the arc trail. So, nine of those. Put that in. It's all right. No worries. Of course, yes, yes. Don't really have any way to combo with it, do I? I could arch her out for one. That's about it. Alright, other options. Strider Harness, Trigon number two, Saber Claw Golem. Yeah, not that. I guess we do Trigon number two. Because we're not that quick of a deck anymore. So, yeah, Trigon number two. It's a good thing we got these Palladium Mirrors. <laughs> So, since we don't have that much green, we can afford to play like two or three mountains. Mm. So, something like that. 17. How much double black do we have? We have two double black and uh, three double black. We can even do like that eight six seven five three no oh no nine there we go <laughs> um I think I definitely think three is right here That's not right. Eight six move. Yeah, I can see doing eight six. Okay. So we'll submit it up and see you in the finals. <laughs>